So you want undervolt your locked 14th gen Intel CPU. May it be an i7-14700, 14700F, or even a locked i9 or i5. It may be for various reasons. Maybe you just want more performance out of your system, or maybe you want lower temperatures and lower power consumption, or lower noise, or maybe you're just scared your PC is gonna damage itself due to Intel's recent issues. Either way, this is the right video for you. Now, before we get right into it, okay, a few disclaimers. I try to cover every single CPU and GPU with my tutorials. This is basically my mission with my channel is to do undervolting and overclocking for every single CPU and GPU with different motherboards out there. So first off, promise me, if the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub at the end of it. But then if the video ends up being a little bit difficult for you because I have a different motherboard than you. What I have here today is an Asus Z790 TUF BTF. Uh, you can cross-reference in my CPU undervolting playlist where I have different CPUs, yes, but different motherboard vendors. So if you check the names, you should be able to cross-reference the names and actually understand what I'm doing, okay? So with that said, this is gonna be a BIOS tutorial, straight in the BIOS, but before we do that, obligatory disclaimer, uh, if you're doing this on a 14th gen CPU especially, but even 13th, make sure you update the latest BIOS, the one with the microcode fix from Intel. And also, if you are following this tutorial specifically because you want to save your Intel CPU, I do have a dedicated video on how I actually fixed uh, Intel's problem and which settings I do recommend if your CPU is already damaged by the issue. But if everything is working right, here we are. Let's get straight into it. Let's go into the BIOS and let's start tweaking. Here we are in the BIOS. So first off, we want to go into the advanced section for my BIOS. It is F7. And then we want to go into the AI tweaker section right here. Now again, this is going to be a bit different depending on which motherboard you have. It may be called OC tweaker, AI tweaker, overclocking, tuning, something along these lines. So first off, we want to go into here. Now, before we actually start with all the settings, I want to give you a few things which you should be doing. So first off, make sure your resizable bar is enabled. This is free performance, okay? After you've done that, make sure your XMP is enabled. Now in ASUS motherboards it is under AI overclock tuner or in the main setting it is here under XMP but again different motherboards different things. Do this and test it out separately from the undervolt because this, this is not uh, actually an undervolt this is just things you should be doing on your PC okay but uh, but not every RAM kit is going to RAM stable so first off just enable it try it and then come back. Okay so now if here under performance preferences you have the intel default setting that means you have successfully applied the latest bias with the fix now i will have two different presets for you guys okay so the first one is going to be for the absolute performance if you're doing this undervolt for performance and that's it now if you're doing that you may also want to put asus advanced oc profile okay on the preference so basically disable the intel default setting i know i know uh, but this is what i do recommend for maximum performance but you can also follow this performance profile while leaving this on default setting, okay? But I recommend, again, the maximum performance one. Let's go ahead. After you've done this, you want to go all the way down to internal CPU power management. Now, this is, again, will have a different name. Uh, it may be called CPU power management or CPU advanced options. Uh, but anyways, we go into here and we will have a series of power limits. That's how you will recognize it. So if you're doing this for performance only, you want to go and put all nines to the CPU core cache current limit, all nines to the long duration package power limit, max out the package power time window over here, max it out, max out the short duration package power limit, and that's it. If you do have a setting called enhanced turbo, be sure to disable it. It's bad, but this motherboard doesn't have it, so we're fine. Now we want to go back to the initial page and go all the way down to the voltages and find something that's called CPU vCore or core voltage or vCore or in our case, actual VRM core voltage. And now we want to put it to offset mode, select the minus as a sign 
And now here you want to put 0 0.05. And now if you want to just copy my settings, this is it. You can just copy it and it's going to work for 99% of you. However, if you are really unlucky and this is unstable for you, it means we have too much of an undervolt. So you want to put 0 0.03 if you're really unlucky. On the other side, if you feel like testing out a bit, maybe finding the limit of your CPU, a lot of CPUs can do 0.075, and this is gonna give you a lower temperature, actually a bit more performance, and a lot of benefits. If you're the luckiest man alive and you have the best CPU out there, maybe able to do 0.1. You need to be very lucky, and that's definitely not me. Okay, and uh, this is it for the first preset. Now, second preset, okay, so the one for temperatures, efficiency, power consumption, and if you're scared that your CPU is gonna give out, is definitely keep the Intel default settings over here. But again, do the same thing with the XMP and the resettable bar, of course, so just uh, be sure to enable them. And now we wanna go in the internal CPU power management again, but this time, this time, we are putting something different here. So on the current limit, we can max it out still. But on the long duration power limit, we wanna put 125 watts. Package power time window, you can leave this one on auto or you can just max it out, doesn't really matter. And on the short duration package power limit, we wanna put 253 right there. So this is the main difference. Then we go back to the offset and here it's the same as before. So 0.05 is what I recommend if you want to just copy it. Or again, if you're really unlucky, 0.03. If you want to try it out, 0.075. And if you feel very lucky, 0.1. Those are my settings. And the tutorial is over. So try those things out. Let me know down in the comments. I try to read all the comments and answer them all. And uh, remember your promise. So drop a like and subscribe to the channel if the video was helpful and maybe check around the channel. I do a lot of builds, like the cool one we have here today, and I do tutorials about other things, other GPUs and stuff. You may like it. Bye-bye.